Welcome back to Sportsbit Betting Insight today. Teddy Covers here, joined as we are every Tuesday during football season by Dave Mason from Bet Online AG. Dave, welcome to the program. Thank you, Teddy. <laughs> as always, you come out full of verbiage. All right, let's go. Big weekend for underdogs. In college football, we saw a bunch of double-digit dogs cash in. There were 16 double-digit dogs that had a lead in the fourth quarter on Saturday, and that came after the upsets on Friday and after the upsets on Wednesday. And then in the NFL, same story, big dogs cashing. Let's start with Sunday. How did you guys do at Bet Online? Did any bettors cash in on some of these money line parlays, or was it mostly just chalk bettors losing? For you yeah. on Sunday, yeah, no big, uh, no big money line betters uh, parlays to report, unfortunately. Um, yeah, and it was a great day for us yesterday. I mean, Saturday was great too. Whenever you know you, whenever all these underdogs are cashing, that's usually a good thing for the books and a good thing for the sharps too. Sharps had a pretty good weekend, especially yesterday. But yeah, NFL. I mean, good. Jets was huge. Dolphins. Vikings was just massive. I mean, that the action on that game was was I, I tweeted it out early that there was more act there was more money on the Green Bay Packers than the top the the second third and fourth uh, most bet one o'clock teams combined. I mean, that's how much money was on the Packers yesterday at one o'clock. So that was a huge win. The Vikings, uh, Chargers, Giants last night. The players, I mean, <laughs> uh, they really didn't have any big wins yesterday. I mean, the Texans. Would look like a big win, but there's so much sharp action on the other side that you know the, the public won big on that. The sharps, the sharps didn't win so much, and the Saints they won big on the um, the spread, but lost on the money line. So it was a really good day for the house. So when you have a day like that, on the heels of what's been a pretty good football season for uh, bookmakers by and large, especially bookmakers that are catering to uh, a more public facing audience. Yeah, big day like that. What's the feel in the office? You know, are guys high fiving? Is there a lot of energy, or is it just business as usual? You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You you know, you cash in today, but it's not like you're uh, able to put that money deep into your pocket, knowing you'll never have to give it back. Right. No, I mean, <laughs> you're definitely a little happier Sunday night. You know, you're definitely <laughs> enjoying your Sunday night beer a little bit more. You might have a couple extra. Well, that's not true because when you lose, you might have even more. But no, you're enjoying that uh, Sunday night beer a little bit more. And Monday morning, you got a little extra pep in your step, if you will. But uh, but I mean, we've been doing this a long time. We know next weekend we could give it all back and then some. So, you know, you you take it day by day. But and I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. If you don't say, "Oh well, this is, that's just how it works." No, you, you're you're a little ex- more excited. You're a little more ready to go. But we do know that tonight's a whole different ball game. That the players could totally kill us tonight and all this week. Who knows? <laughs> exactly. The, the the joy of a winning day doesn't last long. Let's real r- briefly recap uh, any of the big decisions in college from Saturday. Another, as we talked about earlier, big day for underdog betters. Right. Uh, LSU was massive for us. Arizona, uh, Cal the other night was was just humongous. Bad Michigan the players hit, buried us on Michigan, falling near the honor near the number. TCU was a big one. Uh, South Carolina too. But college was a good week too. No, nowhere near as good as uh, NFL. But it was no complaints there. So let me ask you one more question here. Of course, talking with Dave Mason from BetOnline.ag. Uh, and Dave, I really want to ask you, because this is a question that comes up right around this time of the year. For betters, it starts to get crazy busy when you have NHL and baseball and NFL and college football. And oh, here comes NBA and oh, here comes college hoops on the horizon. So we're talking about all of a sudden going from handicapping two or three sports to try to handicapping four or five. Some guys even try to do six sports at a time. How does that work from an odds-making perspective? Are your lines weaker in theory when you're dealing to multiple sports or do you have different guys working on different sports and you're very confident with every number that you're putting out right from the get-go? Yeah, it's it's not so much, I don't think the odds are weaker, but I think when you have all that stuff going on and you know we, we open 
our openers are the earliest in the industry for the uh, the more major sports that, you know, you have guys. I mean, you, you, we need like a team of 100 when all these four sports are going on and college hoops right around the corner and you add the props and this and that and the other thing. But, of course, we don't have a team that big. So it's more that it's, it's harder to manage, a little bit more difficult to manage, not like July when you just have a nice big old MLB betting board. Uh, to manage, but you know when the college openers are going up, the NFL openers are going up, and then you got to worry about NBA, a full slate there, and you know just a, stuff's coming in from every direction. You know these sharp guys are coming in from every direction, the public's coming in from every direction, etc. So you know it it gets really hectic. So I think the openers uh, stay the same. You know they, they're they're pretty tight. You know we're going to be off on some. They're just going to be with more sports. You're going to be off on more and and more people out there. Um, capitalizing off that. So it's not really a situation where the lines that you're putting up are necessarily any weaker. It's just everybody's working their ass off between now and Christmas. It's just a lot more hectic. And, it, and, and you know, you have, there's more, I think, spots there out there for the better because, you know, these guys are managing so many different sports and everything. And, you know, you got the football team, you got the baseball team, you got the basketball team, et cetera. But still, there's just so much out there. Stuff's coming in from, every which angle. So you really have to be on top of your toes. So if you're not, which happens sometimes, right? If you're not, you can get hit a little bit easier. So that, that's more how that works. A good time of year for betters who are getting good information. Dave Mason from Bet Online. why don't you give our folks, our watchers, our viewers, our listeners, one good offer they can take advantage of right now, today, and get an account open at betonline.ag. Yes, sir. Head on over to betonline.ag. And sign up for an account. Use promo code NEW2500 to re- receive a 50% welcome bonus. The max bonus on that is 2500 bucks. So, you know, maximize the value on that. Get your account funded for the next few months with that a bonus that big. Sounds good, Dave Mason. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on a day where my collar has gone berserk. I appreciate I like it. it. We'll talk to you again next week. <laughs> We'll set odds on that collar next week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Have a great day. All right, Dad. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.